So we start out with a piece of raw stock, one inch thick. There we go. It's cut roughly to size, but as you can see, none of the edges are square. So that's what we're going to start with. Take the uh, Superfly. We're going to cut it closer to size while squaring off the end. Superfly really gives a nice finish too. And of course we repeat on the other side. Now we're going to take a face cut. Same thing with the Superfly. And now we're going to square cut the ends. I don't typically use a four flute on aluminum, but I had to use one in a pinch the other day for something else and it worked out pretty good. So I used it on this as well. Same results, good smooth finish. And again, repeat for the other side. Now we're cutting the slots. This is a 3 8 inch cutter. The slots are half inch, so we have to make two passes to get the full width. And I'm also cutting these slots just a little deep. Since this is a sacrificial table, uh, if I end up cutting into it, I want to be able to fly cut the face and get a smooth surface again. And here we are just chamfering the edges. Now here we're using a keyway cutter to cut the T slot. A uh, keyway cutter would be better, obviously, but I don't have one, so I had to make do with what I had. Video is going kind of slow here because I want to show a boo boo that I made. And you're going to see that in just a few seconds. And there it is. My speeds and feeds were wrong and I ended up stalling the spindle. That was not the machine's fault. That was totally my fault. So I went back, did some more calculations, got myself some new speeds and feeds. We'll try it again. No problem at all. The uh, t keyway cutter is undersized, so I do have to make two passes to get the right width, and also two more passes to get the right height. Like I said, a keyway cutter or a T slot cutter would be better, but I don't have one. And here we are cutting the other slot. Once I got it figured out, it really did cut nice. A little loud, but did make a nice cut. That's our last cut on the top section, on the top slot there. So let's get it out of the vise, clean it up, and see what we got. Take a file and clean off some of the burrs, especially the ones on the ends of the T slots. And there it is, a one inch thick aluminum sacrificial T slot table. Now if I need to do something really quick on the mill that I can't hold in a vise easily, I can mount this in a vise and it'll hold it with no problem and I won't have to remove the vise from the table. Really makes it convenient. That's it. Thanks for watching.